All right, I'm here with uh, Chris McKinney from Ray's Motorsports talking about their new nitrous system that they've just come out with for um, snow bikes. Uh, so Chris, tell us a little bit about this nitrous kit. So with this kit for this bike, it's a fully autonomous system. It's When it's armed, it tells the ECU to go into nitrous mode and it's looking at uh, a large loop of things. Um, just a quick hit, it's making sure the engine is at proper operating temperature. It's making sure you're out of first gear. The fueling and timing is strictly based off of this bottle pressure sensor. So if we have a high bottle pressure, we're gonna have more fuel, less timing. As the bottle pressure goes down, even when it's into the nitrous, it's gonna take the fuel away and add more timing. The gauge is here for the rider to know what's left in the bottle. Uh, it's fully activated through the throttle position sensor. And uh, yeah, it's looking at a whole bunch of stuff. It activates only above 6,000 RPMs. Once you hit 10.5, it actually shuts the nitrous off, but as a rider, you still think it's in the nitrous, but the engine can hold 10.5 once it gets to it. Uh, and then it has tip-in fuel and tip-out fuel. So when the nitrous uh, is activated, it makes sure that the fuel is at the combustion event uh, before the nitrous, and then when you disarm the nitrous, it makes sure that there's enough fuel there while the nitrous line is still being ingested by the motor when the solenoid's shut. And then the solenoid is something we designed, so it only has a half amp draw. Okay, that's a big deal because a lot of sil actuation uh, solenoids for nitrous are they have a, a high draw, and you can actually wear a battery down. Correct, the way, right? Correct, okay. and that's what happened to us. So we went back to the drawing board. We couldn't find a solenoid with a low amp draw, so we had our own made. Okay. Now nitrous can be a somewhat violent event on a, on an engine, on a cold engine, exactly, or a hot engine, I guess, when you're injecting super cold spray. Yep. So. It sounds like you have taken some science in this process that you've engineered to kind of safeguard these motors. Yeah. Do people need to worry about beefing up their engine to withstand an extra 25 horsepower on nitrous or, or is it going to, can we run this on stock motors? We've run hundreds of pounds of nitrous through a motor and pulled it apart and it's still very in spec. I remember when you're up at altitude, the motor's still only making 35, 40 horsepower, and we're putting it back into its what it was designed to do. Okay. Right. So. Yeah, I guess you're getting for, you're getting back to sea level power. Exactly. Through uh, through an automated spray. Correct. And it sounds like you're kind of safeguarding the process where certain parameters have to be met before you're going to spray. 100. percent We actually patented the technology. Okay. So. Cool. I love the fact that uh, you're getting up to that 10,000 RPM range and then letting the bike do its own thing there on just fuel. Correct. And then as it falls down and loses power, you're boosting it back up. It will taper back in and bring it back up, but best thing to do is just shift and let the nitrous pull it through another gear. That's awesome. Because it will. <laughs> and so we have a five pound bottle here? Yes. And um, so based on that fairly conservative method, I mean, we're not spraying all the time, we're just spraying to keep yourself at peak and peak, peak horsepower there in torque. So how long can I expect this nitrous bottle to last? That's such a dynamic question. Um, so at six, 700 PSI bottle, you're gonna get 10, 12 minutes, but the bottle is usually way colder than that. And the ECU is turning the nitrous on and off in the background, even though you think it's on. So you should be able to get a full week into riding out of it, unless it's one of those deep cold smoke days where you're just pinned everywhere. Yeah. But most of the time you get a weekend out of it. Okay, and we can always keep an extra bottle in the trailer. Keep an right? extra bottle in the trailer. That's what we do. Yep. All right, well, great. Anything else you want to say about this kit? No, man, just pumped to get it out there. We've got hundreds of hours in designing this thing and uh, tons and tons of nitrous through multiple bikes, and we're super stoked for people to go out and experience a fully autonomous nitrous system for the first time. It looks like an impressive kit. We can't wait to, to log a little time on it and see how they work. I appreciate it. So, thank